Hey everybody, this is Purchase, a little news story kind of uh, on the side, and it's been percolating for a little bit. Uh, Marvel had been trying to get this done, and, and kind of now the news is out there. So Will Spertaccio um, is going to return to the X-Men, in this case, unfortunately, uh, X-Men Legends, for what I believe is a, uh, a two-issue story, so just two, starting in January, going through February, and basically he's going to be returning to his... Um, uh, his, his character that he created, which is Bishop. Um, Bishop has a, had a long run in the X-Men. We'll get into that in a second, but, uh, this is going to be, um, written and drawn by Will Spataccio, the, his co-creator in fairness. And, um, he's talking about doing kind of a science fiction future stuff, uh, being able to kind of open the door a little bit on some of the holes. Uh, Bishop has a lot of holes, uh, in his character. Now there's another, um, uh, story that's going on um, with Bishop. Uh, there's a limited series coming up called the, uh, you know, War Campaigns or War College. What what is this one? Um, War Co- Bishop War College, where he's going to be teaching the uh, the mutants of tomorrow on Krakoa. Um, this is a five issue limited series. Has nothing to do uh, with with Wills, but um, it probably will. Certainly, I'm, I'm sure there'll be some variant covers in there. They'll get him to do. But this is a two part story. Uh, looks beautiful. Looks very much like it could sit right on the shelf with uh, Wills's run back in the '90s. And um, very, very, very excited. Um, they are going to have co writer Brian uh, Halbrin, um, who is um, uh, they've they've collaborated before, Wills and Brian. Uh, but not actually written a story. Still, um, this this sounds good to me. Uh, excited to it. So, what? Why go back to Bishop? Um, as I mentioned, Bishop is a character that has had a long run in the X Men. Uh, came into the appearance in the '90s. Was part of the animated series, so got that kind of crossover attention. Was part of the uh, XSE, uh, which was a future Xavier security enforcers kind of a, dispu- a dystopian mutant police uh, force. And um, the, the way they introduce a character was kind of really classic for the time. He had a big mystery. There was, a, you know, what's he doing? And then in the back of his um, kind of a background mission, he knew there was, or he'd been told that there was a traitor uh, to the X Men uh, back in this this time period. And so he was kind of, you know, he's trying to investigate. So it's like half detective, half kind of mutant hero, out of place, kind of the opposite of Captain America, coming from the future into the present. And, um, it was, um, it, it, you know, the, and they, they gave you little hints. This was when the X-Men were doing a lot with, you know, futures, future material, you know, Gambit appeared to be some kind of, uh, you know, strange uh, figure, uh, kind of mystic type figure in the future, uh, that he knew. And so it, it, um, but, but there was, it opened up a whole big world. Um, Wills, uh, Protasio and John Byrne were the original creators of the character. This has been, I think John Byrne was writing the comic at the time. Uh, kind of fairly short period. It's it's funny how uh, Marvel kind of jumps. It does it does incredible gymnastics. Not to mention John Byrne's name anywhere through this. Um, but basically, he uh, he he journeyed to the uh, to the to the present. Um, he uh, team. He basically did. You know, they they became very popular very quickly. So then he had a mini series. He had a couple. They introduced more parts of his world. They teamed him up with Gambit. Um, and they did, they just did a, a whole bunch of things. Um, and it was, uh, it was, uh, he, he had this very complex, um, backstory. Now the challenge I think with Bishop is that, uh, in the nineties, he you know, was this exciting new character. Marvel was doing a lot with, uh, you know, Gambit was relatively new. They're doing some different things with Wolverine. Just the team in general was experiencing a lot of popularity and Bishop was part of that. He became very popular right out the gate. And then as the 90s kind of ended, we got into the 2000s, um, he, he seemed to, I, I don't know, they, they seemed to either lose the plot on what was going on or they just had so many things going on with Bishop. Um, he was part of the Age of Apocalypse, uh, kind of this, this character who, who knew that things were off, so he used him for that. And, and basically, any time they had some kind of mystery or time travel or, or any kind of shenanigans, uh, they would kind of insert Bishop into it. And pretty soon, he got... Uh, he had really convoluted. And then they, they had his family and they, his sister, uh, Shard, uh, showed up. Uh, and, and so it just, it just kept going and going, and going. And in many ways, it kind of tipped over the character itself. Um, they eventually, uh, you know, when, with this traitor destroying the X-Men, uh, from the, uh, inside, um, I believe that, I think they, they ultimately decided it was Xavier, right? I think that's, that's who it was as part of the onslaught, uh, type, uh, situation. 
but then um, it's uh, yeah, yeah. The the it was Professor X. That's right. I, they kept teasing that it was maybe Gambit, and then they, I think they teased Storm for a period of time. Like they they had all these different people that were the traitor, but it was um, it was Xavier being taken over by by onslaught. Um, and then, uh, and then they had, uh, the extreme X-Men he was part of that, uh, group with storm. And then, uh, during the, um, uh, the depowering, uh, he was part of district X. So he was, a uh, he's kind of being a, a policeman who was trying to solve uh, mutant crimes. Um, they had him briefly appear in civil war. And so finally at this point, Bishop is kind of all over the place in terms of a character. And so during the Messiah complex, um, they, it, Bishop basically did the big heel turn. And so, um, you know, they, so that, that led to kind of this new status quo where cable took the new baby who would be hope summers and it would take her kind of into the future. But, uh, I, I think the, his time travel device was damaged in some way and he, uh, he, he can only go one direction. So cable, uh, vanishes into the future, trying to protect the baby to get, uh, hope grown up so uh, she could survive bishop is chasing after them and that's set up a, a cable series but at this point bishop kind of got written as like this insane over-the-top serial killer um got uh, got teamed up with strife at one point and just just all over the place um and uh you know and and bishop was kind of stranded in the future um, and then he, he came back, uh, in, in X-Force during one of the mini relaunches there. This wasn't one of the good relaunches. And, um, I think he, I, I don't remember how he got to be better again, but somehow, you know, he, uh, he was, I think Nate Gray was involved some, anyway, he, he somehow got to be good again. And then, you know, they've, they've kind of gone forward with the, uh, this new status quo of Dawn of X and. Uh, Bishop uh, rejoined the team now war captain anyway very convoluted lots of stuff to clean up with Bishop so what will um, Weiss Potashio do in his series um, he's only got two issues and it sounds like he's going to be tapping into the XXE so the very original kind of uh, period of what made Bishop how is this time cop thing going on um, hopefully he can he can actually lay some groundwork to start to I don't say rehab the character because a lot of the history I just told you most people have completely forgotten uh, I, I, you know, <laughs> toward the, the tail end of my comic shop, uh, when we were up in Washington, um, there was, uh, people had completely memory hold the entire evil turn and chasing cable and all that kind of stuff. And I mean, for good reason, it was, uh, it, it was over the top and a bit crazy, but, um, they, so hopefully we can get some good stuff out of Bishop. I just, I guess if you were not around in comics in the nineties, um, Bishop was this very exciting character. I mean, he sold books. He wasn't at the Wolverine kind of level, but uh, definitely Bishop was. If he was, if he was in the comic, they could actually sell off of Bishop being a guest star. Uh, this is a time period where you know those kinds of characters in those moments actually made a huge impact, and and they were uh, they were significant. So hopefully that's uh, that's we can start to regain that. The War Captain's book, I, I don't have a lot of uh, interest for or, or kind of hope for. With five issues and looks mainly like a vehicle to introduce and talk to about some, some mutants we've never seen before. And, and after the series probably, you know, if history is in the indication, we won't see again. Um, but this two issue, um, by wife who, who had a tough, uh, run of it. I mean, he was, he was meant to go, uh, join the, uh, the image groups, uh, when it's first founded, of course he had a family tragedy and that, um, that kind of delayed things and, and everything else. But, uh, he, uh, uh, had a failing pancreas, had some real bad health problems. Um, and, uh, finally, you know, it took him like, uh, I think like a year to kind of get back to drawing again. So, I mean, he's had a, a very rough go of it. Um, he is, uh, he's, he's an incredible, I, I, I'm trying to think, I think his sister was sick, not died. Uh, but at any rate, he was definitely kind of a comic great, brought something new to the page. And I'm very excited to see uh, what he has, uh, going on. So anxious to, Anxious to see how it all plays out. So let me know what you think, first of all, of Weiss Potashio and also of uh, Bishop in general as a character. Is this something you would buy? Two issues in X-Men Legends. It, it does feel like a shame. Um, I don't know. I'm not a fan of limited series running all over the place, but it, it's, uh, it continues to be a book where some good things happen, but then it gets buried. Um, anyway, let me know if you're interested buying that. Um, you know, as always, like and subscribe. And thanks for listening.